Hey, back again to make one more video. I know it's kind of like on the sad tip. I uh, just heard another rapper down in Atlanta. I think his name Trouble. By the name of Trouble. Think about the name. Why would you name your name Trouble? Think about it. Names are important. Don't give your, uh, do your research before you name your child. Because a lot of names carry either blessings or curses. You call yourself trouble, that's exactly what's going to come to you. Trouble. Thank you. So, this young guy, you know, he was murdered. But <coughs> a lot of black people know, I'm just talking about black people, and other people know why a lot of the young, the young generation is dying. And it's not God's will for anybody to die at a young age. Let me just say that. It's not. Even uh, babies that are aborted or, or miscarried, God, it's not God's will for any child to be miscarried or be aborted. That's not God's will. It's not, it's not God's will for anybody to die young. He said uh, in, the, in the Bible, I think Ecclesiastes, the average age is three score and 70 up to 120 years. So that's not God's will. A lot of these guys are dying or young, young generation, not just rappers, because of the the powers that's listed in the, uh, Ephesians chapter 6. Power, principality, rulers of dark wickedness in high places. So every city has an angel, a godly angel's attached to it but if those angels are not being used in a godly way or a holy way you got principalities which are fallen angels that operate also and the bible gave, gave us a uh, clear example of that when daniel prayed then the prince of persia you got different princes in the air that stopped his prayers god heard the prayer and answered it but this particular demon prince held a prayer up. Then a uh, uh, stronger power, at Michael had to come along to help get the angel, the angel Gabriel. So every city has a principality in it, and you see different things. You know, different city have different characteristics as far as the principality. It might be homosexuality, it might be prostitution, it might be uh, drugs. It's like Atlanta for instance. I just use that for example. You see the principalities. You don't see the principalities, but you see the byproduct of the principality over Atlanta. And and the byproducts you see the byproducts in the people's uh, characteristics and the way they behave in a negative sense. So a lot of these young cats are being controlled by these principalities. The same thing that the principalities that control the drug cartels in Mexico, for instance, and El Salvador and Panama, places like that, and Jamaica, you know, they basically are death squads. You know, they control whole regions. They control whole towns and cities, like Jalisco, MS-13. And they actually worship these. Some of these gangs actually worship the demons, demon gods. They sacrifice. They actually do sacrifices to their gods. And it's nothing to kill for them. Kill. I just read uh, yesterday where Jalisco uh, and some other uh, cartel in Mexico they would actually kill the people and cut the people's chest open and eat the heart. Some of the gang members are uh, required to eat the heart raw. And one of the cartel um, uh, leaders would kill somebody and slice up the person's uh, butt cheeks and put it in tamales and eat it. All this stuff is demonic. It's demonic inspired. It's demonic influence. And these principalities if they're not, um, if, if, if the men and women uh, of that area not praying and fasting and bonding and loosing 
and casting these things now that they just get stronger and stronger and you see how a lot of the younger generation that has curses our black people i hate to say it, we are cursed we have curses on us because of our ancestors the, the doors that were open the ancestors basically sold you out even going back before slavery here in the africa and i said this in another video and the people would do like one particular curse where the, the family sacrificed a two-year-old baby boy to break the slavery over the family, but the, the family still was enslaved for a hundred generations. A hundred generations. And all these blood sacrifices, all the rituals these, these artists are doing, they doing it in witchcraft. You see them doing pentagram witch, uh, witchcraft, summoning demons, putting it in their music. A lot of them in secret societies. And you know which societies I'm talking about. And they're, uh, and they're dying because you can't make, you're making covenants and agreements with death itself. A lot of them carrying guns. I mean, I had my time when I was in a little gang, called myself in the gang. We wasn't killing each other, basically fist fighting, but these people are on a whole nother level. And you, you sit back watching your young generation just die, get killed, or get locked up because of the iniquity. When God take his hand off a certain people, then if God is not there as a standard to block and cover, like Big Mama will cover your the grandkid, who praying for these kids? Who telling them about God? Who teaching them to pray? Who teaching them uh, not to go to this block or not to go to this club or not to go? Who doing it? Nobody's teaching them. So it's just like the you just go from one fire fight to another one. You know, you know, as far as sexuality, drinking, drugs. And doing drugs is, is so much stronger than what, what we did. And people ain't fist fighting, they just shoot, killing each other. But it stemmed from our ancestors opening the door and turning his back on God. God said you you be cursed up until the third and fourth generation. So if the current generation is cursed and it's not broken. Then you look at these young people, their kids, and their kids' kids gonna be cursed too. The spiritual side, everything happened in the supernatural before it manifested in the natural. And you seeing it. People can't unexplain. They trying to uh they trying to uh, make sense of it. Why these people killing each other? It's, you got demons controlling these people. If they're not possessed. I don't think a lot of them possessed, but they're being manipulated by many demons. And the demon's whole objective is to destroy the person, destroy their whole line of kids. The females are being destroyed, the young female, because of the, the music, the food we eating, the, the, the TV shows. Everything is poisoning the spirit man. What's, what good spirit food are they, these young people eating nothing? Then uh, at least if a person religious, they go to church, they have a little bit of buffer. You're not even getting that. That's why I tell my kids, teach your children some scriptures. T tell them about God. Give them a mind to believe in God as a, a little child and they have an opportunity to make a choice. A lot of these people don't even have a choice. The grandmas acting like whores. The grandpas acting like pimps. So that's all I got to say. Have a blessed day.